Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Yes. Okay, perfect. Hello, good evening, welcome. Nice, appreciate your time. Um, uh, your camera is right for the ones that are already with the camera on. Very good, very nice. Let's see. Okay, let's start. We still have people missing, right? Um, we are, let's see, 19 participants. Todavía falta. Now we are 20. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, Luis Alfredo. How are you, Luis Alfredo? How you feel today? Present teacher, I am fine. Uh, in my city, in Budapeque, it's raining very hard. Okay, okay. I am here in the class. Yeah, I know it's raining in um, many different places i guess right we have people yes, from in different uh, places in different the, areas and i guess it is raining also right here where i am it's raining it's not too heavy but it is it is raining okay, okay. so try to you know as i told you try to have plan a b c until z because this is normal right so we know that we are in the right. The, the type of weather that we have in this uh, season, right? Okay. Um, let's see, let's see. Maria Magdalena, what about you, Maria Magdalena? How you feel? Good, Miss. Uh, in my ha in my neighborhood, uh, the same raining. Okay, it's the same story. It's raining. Okay, it's raining. Yes. Nice. Okay, so just be careful and try to be connected, no matter what. Remember that uh, this is something that we will be dealing with every single day. Um, let's see, um, Kevin Alexander. Tell us uh, what is uh, today date, Kevin? Uh, today is July fourth. Uh, One more time, I'm sorry. You said the date. Ah, uh, today is Thursday, uh, July fourth. 2023. Okay, nice. Today is a Tuesday, right? Tuesday, uh, July the 4th, in uh, 2023 or 2000, right? So do you know what is the celebration for today? Do you have any idea? Dependence. Day hey. Very good, very good. So today it's an important day. Yeah, but we are learning the language, right? We are learning their language, okay? So today is an independence day. So we need to have the US flat, <laughs> okay? Because today at this time in different states, they are with fireworks. You know what are the fireworks, right? So they are enjoying fireworks. Uh, they are enjoying barbecues. You know what is a barbecue, right? Yep, no. Barbecues. Let's yes, uh, I celebrate with, with family teacher. <laughs> But uh, really, you, even you here in, in, El, in, in El Salvador, so you are celebrating the, the Independence Day? Um, my family is, is here in, in, in US. In US. Um, ah. Yes, my mom, I say me, 
um, celebrate today with my uh, my sister and my daddy and other families. So you have many relatives. Remember relatives? You have many relatives over there. So they are celebrating the Independence Day for the US. And they yes. told you, okay? They tell me, me dijeron, okay. they tell me about celebrate with all the family, right? So yes. nice. Very Thanks, good, very I nice. Appreciate your advice. Okay, thank you, uh, Claribel. Very good. Uh, let's see, what about you, Sylvia Stern? Are you celebrating the Independence Day? Yes, I I happy. Um sorry, I'm happy because I had a day off uh, in my job because it was Independence Day. Hey, very nice. So it's a holiday, right? Uh, yes. We have many people in El Salvador that works for companies in the U.S. So yes. today, today in the U.S. is a big party all over the country. Okay. So si nosotros celebramos nuestra independencia, ellos lo hacen, uff, más que nosotros. Ellos, they really, really celebrate Independence Day in the U.S. Okay. So in uh, yesterday, in yesterday, I had a half day off. So yesterday was the day off as well? Eh, tuve la mitad libre también. Ah, half of the date, okay. Half. So you were okay. half of the day off. Okay, so that means like a part-time. So you have like a part-time. So just like the middle of the day. So today it's a big party in the US. So today in the US, everyone is on vacation, okay? So most, most, most of the companies, most of the employees of any company, so they are free, okay? So they are drinking too many beers <laughs> the whole day because they start since yesterday, right? So they start celebrating since yesterday and they know that today it's a free day, it's a holiday. So that means uh, no, they don't have to go work, okay? Nice, okay, yeah, today it's the uh, Independence Day um, the US, right? And we need to know about that because that's their culture, right? So that's their culture and that is the language that we are learning, okay? Also from British, but since we are really close to the US, so we get more influence, right, from the US than uh, Europe, right? So nice. Uh, let's see, let's start with the attendance, okay? Just let me move on right here into the uh, file right here. Um, let me see. Um, espérame, que esto está cargando. Vamos a ver. For us, July. Uh, bien. So please let me know if you are here. Ada Veronica, ya la vi. Uh, espérame que esta cosa no escribe. ¿Por qué? Permítanme, vamos a darle otro refresh a esta página. ¿Por qué no? No ha cargado bien, quizá no sé. Sí. Bien, Ada Verónica. No, no quiere, ¿por qué? Ada Verónica, solo lectura de eso. Ah, permítanme, me está pidiendo que ingrese mi correo a esta cuestión. Start section. So let's see. So um, be ready. We have an activity pending, right? Yes. Yep. Okay. So uh, I guess 
um, we have the picture right there in the in the WhatsApp. Denle ahí reply. Creo que ya cayeron otros mensajitos para que tengan la imagen ahí a la mano. And be ready with your questions. Ok, desde ya ve a quién le va a hacer la pregunta a usted. Ay, esta cuestión. Ahí sí, ahí viene ya. Viene llegando, viene llegando la lista. ¿Dónde está? De 8 a 9. Bien, ahora sí. Tenía que iniciar sesión una vez más. So, Alexandra Jamilet. Good evening. I'm nice. Here. Thank you. Alexis Giovanni. No. Eh, Alicia Pérez. Alicia Pérez, no, eh, Ana Maricela, ok, Maricela, casi no se le escucha ahí, deje ver aquí en la, en la reunión acá, Bien, eh, then we have Brenda Claribel, ahí está. Eh, nice, Byron Giovanni, también ya lo vi por ahí. Eh, Carlos Antonio. Carlos Antonio, ¿no? Eh, Cecilio Antonio. Present, Miss. Nice. Eh, Jacqueline Vanexa. Present Miss. Nice. Jennifer Flores Arevalo. Present Miss. Nice. Eh, José Alejandro. José Alejandro ya no vino. Vaya. Eh, Juan Antonio. Ya lo vi. Present teacher. Nice. Catherine Andreina. Present teacher. Nice. Eh, Catherine Gisa. No. Eh, Kevin Alexander. Ya lo vimos. Lenin Hernández. Lenin. Present me. Ah, ok, nice. Eh, Leticia Judith. Present. Nice. Luis Alfredo. Present. Nice. María Magdalena. Present. Nice. Martín de Jesús. I'm here to check. Nice. Miguel Antonio. Miguel Antonio. No. Present. Este es ah, problemas okay. con conexión. Sorry. Ah, ok. Nice. Eh, Nelson Eduardo. Present. Ok, Mr. Nelson. Uh, Noé Ezequiel. Present. Is. Nice. Eh, Norma Lisset. Ok, Norma. Eh, Olivia Reisha. Present. Nice. Oscar Alexander. Eh, me pareció ver que estaba conectado Oscar, no sé. Eh, Zaira y Dalia. Present. Nice. Eh, Silvia Este. Ahí está. I'm here. Nice. So we have many absence for right now, pero igual. Pienso que eh, me falta que ingresen algunos. So, déjeme ver algo acá, que no sé qué le pasa a mi computer. Está un poco lento, pero creo que es el internet. 
So let's say I'm going to uh, share the screen, but you have a better view of the of the book, right? So creo que lo ven mejor ustedes ahí en la imagen que. No le digo, pues que esta computadora está mero sospechosa. Okay. Permítame, vamos a cargar nuevamente el manual porque algo sucede por estos rumbos. Me lo va a abrir en otra. Así no me gusta en PDF. No, 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 sorry. Ok, aquí viene. Sorry que esta cuestión está rebelde este día. So let's move on to the a map, right? So vamos en el mapita, aquí está. So I will try to make it a little bigger right here, pero no hay forma de que me salga así como tan completito. Si lo quiero así un poco grande, así que mi modo. So let's see, uh, make sure that you have someone, right? Ready for the uh, question that you have. Let's start with... Uh, Juan Antonio, choose one of your classmates and ask one of the questions. Remember that the idea is use, is there something, are there something, la, 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 la. And you have right here uh, different places and different street names, right? I'm sorry? Okay. So, yes. uh -huh. go yes, ahead, Juan Antonio, choose one of your classmates and asked in one of your questions. Okay. Uh, Alexandra Yamilet. For Alexandra Yamilet. It's okay. okay. Yeah, Alexandra, okay. you ready? See, sí. yeah, she's there. Go ahead. Okay. Is there uh, Public school near here. Oh, sorry. No, 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 I don't know. You don't know? Look, look at the map. I don't understand. So the question is if there are a, a public school, right? A public school uh -huh. near a uh -huh, public school. It's so. Sorry. No. Uh -huh. So remember the, the answer, right? Uh, there. Yeah, there is or not, there isn't, yes, uno. Uh, yes, there are la 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 public schools or no, there aren't any public schools. So la idea es que usted me usa el there is and there are, positive or negatives, right? One more time with your answer. Okay. Is no, there... just, just the answer. Mm -hmm. Just the answer, oh. Alexandra. Is there a public library around? Okay, that's a different question. But the answer, oh. the answer from the previous question, please. Um, yes, there are a public school around here. Okay, so where is the school? Is um, in front of gas station. In front of the gas station. Um, but in front it is. 
Um, First National Bank. They are back. Mm -hmm. I don't see a school. In front, right here is the gas station, right? So in front of the gas station, we have the National Bank. Mm -hmm. Just a moment, uh, Silvia. Um, let's see, let's see. Uh, Alexandra, this is for everyone, right? So the, the, the idea is analyze, right? Analyze the map and try to locate places with street names and everything, right? So, but we need to be careful, right? Yes, there is a hotel in front of La 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 Un Ejemplo, right? Or in this case, if you use there are means because there are two, three different places, right? So si usted me dice, no, there are not schools, okay? Si es solo una, no, there isn't a school, right? Near where we are, okay? So no problem, Alexandra. So uh, Silvia, go ahead. I guess you would like to participate, right? Yes. Okay. Uh, about the answer is mm -hmm. not the, the reason any around here. Okay, can be, right? Remember that we have different options. So, you está bien si usted me dice, uh, not there isn't or not there is not. So, also it's correct, right? That's the same. So, ya lo vieron en... Incluso en módulos anteriores, right? Now, there isn't any public school around here, okay? Nice. Now, Silvia, I choose one of your classmates and go ahead with the next uh, question. Okay, uh, Ada Veronica. Ada Veronica. Ada Veronica. Ready? Sí, ahí está Ada Veronica. Go okay. ahead with your question. Hey, is there a gym around here? Yes, there is. There is hotel. Mm. Um, okay. Uh, one more time. Let's see. Creo que se le cortó ahí un poquito a la Verónica. So, uh, the question is: If there is, is there a gym? Right? Is there a gym around yes. here? So your answer is yes, there is, right? Ada Veronica, yes, there is. So where? Where is it in the map? So donde, where? Where is the gym? Gym, yes. I see the picture. Mm -hmm. Look at the picture, it's over there. Is there the hotel in uh, from uh -huh. from uh, Harkin? No, is there is no, there is next to uh, Coffee Frank. Okay, it is next to? Next. But next, yeah. next yeah. to? Hotel. Yeah, and that is a hotel. And the question, Ada, it's about a gym. Ah, gym, sorry. Mm. Yes. Uh, there is the gym next to a uh, post office. Okay, so yo no lo he visto todavía. <laughs> oh my goodness, where is the post office? Gas yes. station, first avenue. In the street, teacher. Which one? In the street. Main. Which street? Main street. street. Main street. Yes. Okay, mm -hmm. we have like a laundromat. So this Or one right here. Yes. Yeah, me voy a, voy a señalar aquí donde está el, 
esta cosa para señalar. Is between the property um, from the, the park? So right here it is. This is the yes. gym, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Yes. 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 That's true, right. <laughs> okay, so go ahead with the next question. Let's see. Um, vamos a ver. Uh, Byron, Giovanni, choose one of your classmates and go ahead with the next. Um, next, 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 next uh, question. Okay. Uh, my question is for Kevin Alexander. Okay. Okay, Kevin. Uh, there is there. Okay. Is there gas station on Ellen Street? Uh huh. That's a nice question. So who's the, 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 the person? Kevin, uh, Ah, Kevin, Kevin, go ahead. Ah, okay. Uh, no, there isn't. The gas station is uh, behind the, the King Plaza Hotel. Sorry, I was talking on mute, my goodness. So the question one more time, Byron Giovanni, it's about if, mm -hmm. if repeat the question. Okay. Is there a, is there a gas station on Elling Street? Ah, okay. If there are gas station on the Payne Street, this one, right? Yeah. Okay, uh, okay, yeah, Kevin, it's right, right? No, there isn't, right? No, there isn't because the gas station, it's between the uh, First Avenue and Main Street, right? Like like in the corner, right here in the esquina, in the corner of the First and Main uh, Street, okay? Nice, let's see the next one. Um, Cecilio Antonio, just one of your classmates, and uh, let's see your question, please. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. My question, my question is, is there a grocery store in this area? Okay, but to whom? Mention one of your, uh, one of your classmates. Ajá, uh -huh. who? Tengan ya en la vista ahí a quién le van a preguntar, rapidito, rapidito. Especialmente de los que tienen cámara. Ajá, uh -huh, Cecilio, ¿a quién le está preguntando? Híjole. <ríe> a Brenda. Brenda Claribel, ok. Repeat your question, please, Cecilio, Antonio. Is there a grocery store in this area? Okay, it's there yes. a grocery, go ahead. Yes, there is uh, on the maple only. And um, other is second avenue. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you, but I'm trying to see where is it. Uh, Grocery yes, store. It's there in Second Avenue. Second Avenue. Yes. That that's the one that is next uh, to the gym. Uh, yes, it's um, this one across the park. This is Parker. 
parkas drop store. Yes. yes. This one right here, right next to the gym. Oh, is between the drop store, parkas drop store in Second Avenue. Yeah, this is the Second Avenue right here. Yes. If so I... this one is the grocery. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, okay. Nice. Let's see the next one. Vamos a ver. Um, Jacqueline Vanessa, choose one of your classmates and go ahead with your question. Mm. Jacqueline Banes. That's a good one. Uh, is there a bag around here? Is there a what? I'm sorry. A bag. Is there a bank, a bank around here? Okay, nice. But to whom? Who is going to answer? Uh, Brian. No, Brandon, perdón. <laughs> Giovanni? ¿Dónde está el, el alma aquí que le estamos preguntando? No, no, con pregúntele a alguien más, I'm sorry. Uh, Alexandra. Estamos con el examen en frente. Uh, there is in the block to the left of the park over the Pine Street. Okay. First Avenue, right here, right? So this is the National Bank, okay? So we have the National Bank right here. So it's like in the corner, right? Between the Pine Street and the First Avenue next to Post Office, creo que dice ahí. No miro yo, yo, sorry. Ya no me sirve ni los lentes. Grocery, so, grocery store. Pero grocery, bueno, yo veo como post office, no veo ahí, pero, so this is the national bank, okay, very nice. So the last one, the last one, because of the time, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Jennifer, choose one of your classmates, please, and go ahead with your question. Good evening. Good evening. Alicia Perez. Okay, Alicia, be ready. Go ahead with your question. Is there a pipe from around here? Okay, is there a what? A pipe from around here? Okay, is there a pain? Mm -hmm. I don't know. So, Alicia, ¿qué dice usted? Spell it down, please. I'm sorry. Um, no creo que esa la hice extra. Sorry. <laughs> este. Ajá, ajá. Pero es que hice varias, pero. Ok, are go there, ahead. Pero... Are uh -huh. there any restaurants near here? Ok, are there any restaurants around here? Alicia?
Alexia Perez, go ahead. So did you listen to the question, Alicia? No? Alicia, 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 de señales de vida. Okay. So, um, Catherine Giselle, answer the question, please. Are they any um, office boss? Mm, did you listen to the question? Uh, is there um office boss? Mm, that's a different question, okay? So you are giving the answers. Te está dándole la respuesta a la pregunta que hizo Jennifer. Mm, eh, question, please. Okay, so Jennifer, could you please uh, go ahead and repeat the question? Um, are there any restaurants around here? Okay, Catherine. Um, restaurant. Um, yes, yes, there, yes, there is, um, restaurant and restaurant is, is there, is there one, take Maple Avenue. Okay, yes, there is a restaurant around here, you say that is in the first avenue and uh maple avenue the first one but this is a different street so son dos calles distintas right so this one is the restaurant this is a cafe so i don't know yo no logro mirar acá esto pero i don't know if this one is the restaurant ahí es mi restaurant Okay, restaurant. Okay, see. Okay, so the restaurant is in front of the Kim Plaza Hotel uh, in the Maple Avenue and Pine Street. Okay, so we are going to stop with, with the map. So we are not really good at um, maps. Okay, so even in Spanish, right? So nosotros somos malísimos para dar direcciones. O sea, no tenemos como ese hábito de dar nombres de calle. Usted a la par del palo de mango le dice a la gente, mira, ahí vas a ver un palo, allí no es, a la par vas a ver ahí la iglesia, no sé qué. Y después Google Maps. en Google Maps, right? de ahí vas a ver el pollo campero, ¿le? te bajas ahí, caminas para arriba, de ahí bajas para abajo. ¿le? Así somos para dar las directions, right? So that's yeah. why even in English, we have some difficulties, okay? Nos cuesta porque no nos sabemos dar direcciones. Yo sé que le digo a cualquiera de ustedes, mire, vaya a ser por la cuarta avenida poniente, baja por la décima y se va por la segunda. No, pues le digo, mire, vaya al pollo campero que está ahí en la tal calle. Así ya sé, okay? Yo so sí that's, me, that's the way. Sí so, who? <laughs> Ana Maricela. Yo, Ana. Aquí está yo soy instructora de manejo y yo sé de nomenclatura. Oh, my goodness, so you are an expert. Entonces, a usted sí le podemos preguntar por calles y avenidas, right? But normal people, normal people, nah, le dice usted vaya por la cuarta calle poniente, por gusto, right? So, we use Google Maps or Waze, right? Más fácil, y ahí llega donde usted quiere, right? So, but in English, it's really delicate. So, dar direcciones en inglés sí es otro nivel, porque they really mention the names of the streets. Y diga que estas calles que han puesto aquí son fáciles. Allá las calles tienen nombres de personas difíciles de que uno nunca ha escuchado el nombre, right? So, they have 
a loan address. They have like a number. No sé si alguna vez ha visto una US address. They have a number. They have a street name. They have a city. They have a zip code. They have the state. Okay. So they mention everything. I live in the 2020 uh, First Avenue, apartment seven, um, Houston, Texas, 7700. Well, I'm inventing, right? No me puedo el sitco de Houston, pero they, they mention everything, right? So they mention everything. Nosotros a la par del palo de mango vivo, dice usted. Ahí está todo. Right, La Casa Azul. <laughs> so that's the way that we say address, right? But let's continue practices, okay? Because uh, in English, probably you will have the necessity, right? Sometimes to say where you are or how to locate something or how to advise someone about how to get to a different place, okay? So, si algún día se, toma, se topa con, con un... Una persona que sí es nativo del idioma y le dice, hey, where I am and I'm looking for this place, le va a tocar usar las prepositions, right? To, to mention where the place it is, right? So let's see. Uh, we have right here uh, common complaints about neighbors. So what is a complaint? Do you know what is a complaint? Common Lamentos. complaints. Um, more than that? About neighbors, my goodness. Ah, quejas. Okay, complain. Okay, usted se está quejando. These ones are common complaints about neighbors. Okay, quejas comunes de los vecinos. Okay, so complaints, son quejas, son, eh, sí, quejas, right, that, that song one, okay. Uh, number one right here says noise. So let's read, Maria Magdalena, read the complaint right here about noise. Okay, miss, my neighbors dog bark all night. My neighbor always has low bar parties. Paris, right? Paris, okay. I guess this is one of the common famous complaints, right? That we have in the neighborhood. Neighborhood, right? El vecindario, la colonia, el barrio, el caserío, el cantón, donde sea que usted vive, es su neighborhood, right? La residencia, la mansión, donde sea, right? So that's your neighborhood, okay? So these ones are common complaints that you can have with your neighbors about your neighborhood, right? Noise, look at the picture right here. Poor dog, right? Na my neighbor's dog barks all night. So, ahí está usted aguantando el ruido del perrito, right? My neighbor's always has low parties. Look at the house right here. Music everywhere, very loud, right? So you are complaining about the noise. Uh, the next one, let's see, um, Ada Veronica, help us read the next one, privacy. The kid next door always play in my yard. My neighborhood visit every day is too much. My goodness, no privacy, right? No privacy. My, the kids next door always played in my yard, right? Típico, niños ahí en su cera, aunque ni son suyos, pero mi modo, hay que, hay que aguantar, ¿verdad? So, and the next one says, uh, my neighbor visits every day, it's too much, right? El típico vecino que, y mire vecina, ¿y quién vino? Y mire, y, y todo quieren saber, right? So, complaints. Uh, let's see the next one. Um, Alexandra Jamilet, you raise your hand. So go ahead. Animal problems. My neighbor's cat go everywhere. And my neighborhood has six dogs. It's a zoo. My goodness. And this is a typical complaint also in El Salvador, right? Imagine you have a neighbor that has cats everywhere. So you go and you see cats all over the house. In the other case, it says six dogs, okay? Looks like a zoo, okay? So 
we have the type of neighbors, right? So the next one, Luis Alfredo. Uh, clean lines. I read clean lines. My yeah, neighbor go ahead. Has, yes, my neighbor has garbage in his front yard. My neighbor never cooked the grass. Okay, so clean lines. My neighbor has garbage in front of uh, he is in, in in his front yard, okay? So you can see trash everywhere and also the grass. What is the grass? Grama. El pasto, la grama. Pesto. La grama, el pasto. Nosotros no tenemos grama. Monte Rascal tiene el vecino ahí enfrente de su casa, gran ramerillo y gran animalero, right? So that's the, the grass that we have in El Salvador, right? So now let's do something, okay? Based on this, Different complaints, okay? In your notebook, please write a, one complaint that probably you have about your neighborhood or your neighbors. Can be one of these ones, similar to these ones, or can be different, right? What would be another? Aquí solo nos pone four different, but let's see, you with your neighbors, what is the complaint that you have? Uh -huh, opinions? Usted no tiene ningún problema ahí con el vecino. About my neighbors mm -hmm. is with cats. Okay, so what is the problem with the cats? Eh, no sé cómo decirlo, pero andan en los techos, dejan sus cosas en la grama. Okay, so that means that you have issues with the cats. The problem is the cats because they are walking, especially at night, right? Typical el gato en el día no hace bulla, pero en la noche. So they are making noise in the floor, right? So in the, in the, in the ceiling, I'm sorry, in the ceiling. And also they uh, put the... Poo -poo, right? So everywhere, especially in, in your house. No van a la casa de, de donde viven, sino que van a del vecino, right? So típico. Ajá, Martín, what is the issue? Este es el momento que se desahogue. Go ahead. My neighbor car parking in front of my garage. Ah, that's a typical complaint, right? So they have the the garage but they put the car in front of your house and if you have a car so you have to go with your you have to get up get out from the car and go on and say hey neighbor i need to enter to my house could you please move the car so you have to ask them if they want to move the car because you need to enter with your car right so typical right typical situation what else Nadie, no me vaya a decir que usted no tiene ningún complaint ni que usted ama al vecino porque es mentira. Ajá. Kevin Alexander, go ahead. Eh, the the neighbor eh, listen a lot of reggaeton music when I recite in class. Okay. So nice, that's another situation, right? So you are trying to do something and be concentrate in your neighborhood it's with that kind of music, that it's not music, that it's just noise. And it's like tumba la casa, tumba la casa, right? And you are in the class and when you open the microphone, so we listen the music, ¿verdad? You say, no, no, soy yo el vecino, right? So that's nice. Uh -huh. Kevin, let's see, Giovanni, tell us what is the situation that you have? Uh -huh. Byron, Giovanni? Okay, my neighbors, I like very much the party, the party. Oh. Okay. All weekend. Every single weekend, your neighbors are party. Okay. So they are doing party. I guess they are listening to music, drinking, and making noise. Okay. So and you want to sleep and rest, and you are like 
ni lo invitan, mejor que lo inviten, right? Para que esté ahí a gusto. <laughs> okay, nice. What else? What else? Desahoguese. Which is the problem that you have with your neighbor? En Spanish. No, no in Spanish, no. A nadie le echan la basura en la acera del vecino. Típico, right? Sale a barrer y en vez de recoger, shh, 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 la hace, right? Yo vivo en pasaje. Ok. Y, entonces, este, que nos toca dejar el vehículo en la calle y los vecinos se adueñan de su parqueo y ponen cubitos y un desorden que se adueñan, poco les falta ponerle nombre ahí, no para que es mío. <laughs> ok, so the parking area, right? The situation is that you live in a road, ok? So you normally live in a road in a pasaje, right? That's a road. And there is no parking lot or no parking area. So in neighbors, they uh, take like ownership of the street, right? Típico, ponen ahí un montón de cuchumbo viejo, right? And it says, aquí va mi carro and that's a public area, right? For everyone. En teoría, el que llega primero debería de Start in the parking, right? But that's a typical complaint, okay? So, aha, uh -huh. what else? Brenda Claribel, no me voy a decir que usted ama a todos los vecinos. <laughs> no, teacher, I hate <laughs> <time>. <laughs> You hate <laughs> them, I'm like, I'm gonna I have a, I go. <laughs> Okay, right in my neighborhood are very nice. I have a couple. Who lives fighting and yelling, and the other neighbors are already tired of that noise. Okay, so you have like a a couple that it's like making too noise between them, right? They are fighting every yes. day, and and the rest of the people is just like listening, listening, and listening <laughs> their complaints, right? There, yes. three three days. Uh, week. <laughs> okay, okay. Nice. What else? What else? Uh, like, uh, uh, like nowadays, most of the people in, you know, in the city, most of the people, they have Wi-Fi at home, right? But I remember like a couple of years ago when, you know, not everyone was able to afford the wi-fi at home there was like a neighbor the sino me da la clave right me pasa inter, right i don't know if that happened to you but that that's happened to me right es que, es que para hacer una tarea right difficult right es que le han dejado una tarea al niño y le quiero sacar me, me regala wi-fi right so that was a typical situation like a few a few months ago right nowadays it's like everyone is using their own Wi-Fi or their they are they own data, right? So what else? Another situation, the garbage. Typical, right? We have neighbors that they are doing cleaning in front or inside of the house and they put the back of the garbage in front of your house. Get uh ghost it. Hey, that's another situation, right? Typical that we have like neighbors that they want to be like gossiping and be talking about somebody else and they say mire vecino ya se fijó ya se dio cuenta que la vecina anda con otro right so that's a typical situation usted ni le está preguntando y le están diciendo sí, right? amante, dice. <laughs> uh -huh. there you go there you go what else what else is a typical situation that's the, 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 the next activity that we have right here. Look, it says, do you ever have any of these complaints? What other complaints do you have about neighbors? Aha, uh -huh. que mas? Alexandra? I don't know if this situation is uh, typical, uh, but I have a problem. My neighbors have a rooster. It is their pet and it wakes me up at them. My goodness, yeah, that's a problem, right? They have like different type of pets and th those animals 
um, they wake up you very early or it's really not late and you couldn't sleep because of the noise of the animals, right? That's that's a that's a problem, okay? So <laughs> I am else? I am also my snake. <laughs> you are the, the one with an animal. Yes, it's the same. The Sandra, my 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 dog is wake up early. <laughs> all all the <laughs> neighbors pero, pero are with other animals, <laughs> but this roster is is a <laughs> Ah, ok, so that's a roaster. Yo pensé que iba a decir Alexandra que era su vecina. Casual, usted es la de oh, perro, no, no, no. que la está despertando oh, a ella. I live, I live in Soya Pango. Ok, so, pues no, no le digamos nada. Brenda, peligroso. Right, she's from Soya Pango. Mentira. That was before, right, Brenda? Now we have a new world, new air, everything is cool. So in the past, no se le podía decir nada, Brenda. Ahora ya se le puede decir. Okay, nice. So uh, please, in your notebook, write uh, what do you, what is the complaint that you have about your neighbors, and. Uh, what do you think that you can do if you have a complaint, right? So look at the situation, like the ones that we have right here in the book, and what we can do or we can say, right? So imagine, so in my case, I'm the one, the, the typical person that I am, I, I, I am not like a shy person. And if I see something that I don't like, I go and I say, hey, look, this and this and this happen, please. So, no soy de las que salen a pelear tampoco, right? So, I'm the one that it's with a good way, good words, good manner, saying what is the situation, right? I had good neighbors, okay? I had good neighbors. Um, I yeah, me imagino la teacher. Oh, la... fight, fight. Me, no. me calla ese animal o le echo veneno. No, tampoco. No, right? I'm not the one, but... But I am now shy. So if we have something that I think it's not good, I go and I explain the situation and try to, you know, fix the problem, right? So try to get in, in, in a common, right? So, um, mañana me va, me va a leer el complaint. Todos escriban cuál es el complaint que tiene. So we are going to start tomorrow with reading, right? Reading the complaint that you have. So, my goodness, it's time and I need to validate the attendance. Habían como tres almitas que no tenían asistencia. Yo creo que ya vinieron. Alexis, Giovanni. Present, teacher. Nice. Al, eh, Alicia Pérez. Alicia Pérez. No. Eh, Carlos Antonio. Present, teacher. Ok, Alicia Pérez. Right. Carlos Antonio no está. Eh, José Alejandro no está, Catherine Giselle, Catherine sí, ¿verdad? Catherine Giselle, Catherine Giselle, Catherine Giselle, no. My goodness. Yes. Ah, ok. So, eh, Oscar Alexander. Oscar, 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 no. Bien, dos, tres personas se quedan sin attendance. Sorry que el otro grupo eh, me espera justo a, la, a las nueve, right? So, time is over. See you tomorrow. Do your homework, do the platform, and bye bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. See ya. <laughs>